The following podcast is recorded and produced by Emerge, a media creators co-op, in affiliation with the network at bicbp-radio.com. Hello there. And welcome to- And welcome back. And welcome back. And welcome back. And welcome back to the 716th Attack Legion. Welcome back to the 716th Legion podcast. It's been a minute, uh, but today we have a couple new topics to talk about and one um, older topic, I guess, since it's been out for a little while now, but we just finished up our reactions to it, uh, which is Avatar. Netflix's, um, that side of the room had some some uh, opinions. I loved it. It was it was, it was perfect in, in nearly every in every way. Uh, nobody said it was perfect. I thought it was good. No, no, I no. It, it, was, was, it was better good. than it was better than than God itself. Oh my God, <laughs> God! Christian's pooping his diaper again. But before we get into no, that topic, we have a couple was, new okay. things from Star Wars that came out that we really I'll be wanted to that talk negative. about. I'll be negative today. But sure. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's talk the Star Wars stuff first. So the first thing is Tales of the Empire, which looks amazing. Wild. Looks fucking wild. Somehow they improved upon the graphics again. But yeah, they hit very, they hit that very well. We we kind of knew Tales of the Jedi season two was a thing that had been leaked on internal documents and stuff. Oh, is that a thing? Uh, well, well, there have been Tales like Tales of the Jedi is Tales of, uh, Tales of the Empire is Tales of the Jedi season two. Yeah, I think just behind the scenes, like Disney had been referring to it, or Lucasfilm had been re- referring to it as like this Tales of the Jedi season two. Yeah, I think there's come like there's like earnings calls and stuff like that where they I talk guess cool to the people about it. So, um, yeah, I think it's uh, interesting. It's a little bit. Um, it's slightly disappointing because uh, I don't know if that means we'll ever go back to something like Tales of the Jedi. And there's, we might. And there's obviously like. No, it's just one of those things where, like, once they move on, you don't. They never go back to it. You could do Tales of the Jedi post Empire. I saw one. What, what did I saw? I saw one picture that was like someone made a meme. Basically, it was just like we'll just do every faction. Oh like, yeah, in Tales the, of the Mandalorian. Tales every, of the <laughs> yeah, 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 I saw that too. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like there's many. There's like some of those are the, the, the Max Rebo band. The worst you, the lower you get. <laughs> One's the mods, which are like the shitty clan from uh, from like Mando. Boba Fett. Yeah, from Boba Fett. <laughs> Tales of the Banking Clan. <laughs> Tales of the Chiss, which is the, the dyad. That's awful. <laughs> I love it. That's two characters. Tales. I think it looks sick. They're making Barris an Inquisitor. Um, I knew she was gonna be Inquisitor. I'm guarantee she's gonna be the, yeah, the whatever, some, yeah. the fifth sister or whatever. They, I don't the think they the picked the most like. They didn't really pick schools. the most on the nose like imperial oh, yeah, characters. Yeah, that would be that'd be a pretty shitty way to die, actually. <laughs> but yeah, damn, that's actually not a bad prediction. It's the two interesting choices for characters. Um, I don't know necessarily why they did like Elsbeth. No, uh, no, I, I, I kind of see why they did Elizabeth. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah. I don't. I think she, she's the much less exciting uh, of the two stories. Just well, Barris is eleven years. We haven't seen in Barris in eleven years. She, we haven't even got like so. This isn't even a situation where there's like a Ventress book and that they they're kind of writing over a little bit like with Bad Batch. Uh, like ben, Ventress, if you were paying attention, like you kind of had something if you wanted. Yeah. Barris like doesn't have a book that they're gonna write over or a comic series. Like Barris had the end of her arc in Clone Wars, and then that was kind of it. Maybe a mention or two in something, but like for the most part, like Barris's story ended there. We don't know what happens to her. Uh, Filoni's obviously teased about it for years and years and years. So that one's exciting. A little weird to have it under like Tales of like the Empire like banner, because like, like when you think of Empire, like the first thing you think of really isn't like Morgan Elizabeth, who is like almost like a like no, a third say, party working for the Empire, and then like an Inquisitor. So they're not like the most Empire, on the nose. You think of like an Imperial. The first thing I think of is like Stormtrooper, like a Tarkin. Yeah, like, I yeah, thought of like, yeah. like well, I think of like Tarkin if, or like, and like if Thrawn. you think about Tales of the Jedi season one, you had. Right before the fall of the Jedi and right after the fall of the Jedi. So, yeah. like, it, to me, Barris's story is like 
the rise of the empire, and mm-hmm. Elspeth is no, they more still fit. The like both these characters still fit. It's just they're not the most like on the nose. Like in, like they're yeah. not like what you think of like when you immediately think of like empire. And when you hear the word empire in Star Wars, you don't you think like Death Star, Tarkin, fucking stormtroopers. Yeah. And I like, and I, I thought we stuff. were gonna get like a Ventress thing just because like we got a like I thought we were gonna do Tales of the Jedi honestly, and we were just gonna get a Ventress, and then they were gonna pick somebody else that like. Uh, I think it's cool though, like. I want to get a little bit more of Elspeth because she just kind of appears out of nowhere and sort of has this deep connected backstory with And I wasn't into it. And then the more I watched the trailer, I'm like, oh, okay. They actually at least seem to have picked a few cool settings for her to, like, exist in. Like, I think her earliest one looks to be... The fall of looks Dathomir. to be like the fall of Dathomir, and like, which and I I'm, think they're gonna like literally write her into. <laughs> they're gonna, I think they're gonna do that periphery thing again, which I always call it, where like, uh, where the Tales of Jedi did a bunch, where they kind of like write, like write up into something, mm-hmm. uh, and I guess like Bad Batch, like the the premiere and like the finale of Clone Wars also had this. Uh, so I think they're gonna do that to a degree. I think uh, well, with that one, with the episode of Clone Wars, where the de- where the Night Sisters get slaughtered by like Grievous. So I think there's we, gonna be some can like we talk about Grievous. That's yes. what I was about to yeah. say. Oh my god! Well, that's one of the other things that this like that, um is that there are, one are multiple character models that we've been waiting to see like uh get used. Mainly the Grievous and the Vader one, which have only been used very very sparingly. Uh, Vader in like a single scene uh, at the end of in the last scene of Clone Wars, <laughs> and then Grievous and for seconds in the beginning of the Bad Batch. Like, he looks uh, terrifying. He looks, right. and this is like right. his best badass. model. This is he's also looked more like the episode three version of Grievous that has like a cape yeah. uh, <laughs> and stuff. And this one looks terrifying. Uh, he looks great. <laughs> the best Grievous has ever looked. Basically, that trailer makes me want to go back and watch episode three. Yeah, now. like that's how I'm feeling. But right then now. we also get new character models for like existing characters that have never had a Clone Wars character model. Thrawn, but, which, which includes looks which includes great. Vader, who obviously we've we've seen before, but mainly Thrawn, and more importantly, I think which even looks better, the Grand Inquisitor as a really really nice model. Yeah, he uh, looks in, sick in the Clone Wars. He should have looked more so. like he did in Obi Wan. <laughs> Shows <laughs> unwatchable. Is, I'm gonna no. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this fucking table. Over. And they brought the, they brought his voice actor back, who should have been the guy they did in live action but you know whatever uh i didn't yeah. mind lucius malfoy for oh no lucius malfoy is the original or he he's played... the no, original he's... jason isaacs is the J- voice jason isaacs is the voice rupert yeah. friend played him in obi-wan yeah he... i still thought he was great yeah i, th- I, I mean no <laughs> <laughs> he, the the acting was good the story was just like yeah, they, I, they, why I, kill I him it was he had no purpose to be in that show. I guess you could say the story He's, was a like little there, He had really no wonky. effect on the story one way or the other. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think he should have just had Reva's part. Like, the Grand Inquisitor should have just oh, been... We're not get, I'm not getting into Obi-Wan right now. I'll lose my mind. I'll lose <laughs> I think, my, that, I think the that the of that story show. was just a little willy wonky. Yeah. What do we think, like, because it'll probably be six again. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's less than a month away, actually, which is cool. Um, so we probably have for Barris. Barris is, is going to be almost over a shorter period of time than, like, the last, like, then, like, say, Tales of the Jedi was, which was, like, over Ahsoka's, like, 20 years, and then if you did, like, Dooku's, like, over, what, 40? Were, like, the, his different, uh, clips we got. Um, so obviously for this one, it's gonna be Barris. No, not 40, more like 20. Qui-Gon was a Padawan. Oh, I guess he didn't one. go all the way to, like, Clone Wars type era, so. Clone- but either Qui-Gon way, we got, like, a, a we got, like, we got, we had, like, three different, it was, like, what, three different distinct character models for Dooku? Is that what yeah. happened? Uh, so either way. Uh, whereas this one is going to be like Barris, and I feel like they're almost going to be like pretty back to back. Probably. Like I don't think they're going to be like kind of jumping around like all too much. Like uh, we didn't see anything like that, uh, like in the trailers. I mean, and, every, I assume, and everything was shown. From I assume all there's three. probably going to be like a year or so time jump in between the episodes. Like I don't think it's going to be like all oh, Barris is uh, an Inquisitor in training, and then like the next episode, it's the next day, and she's an Inquisitor. Yeah. Like, I assume there's going to be some time. Yeah, Elizabeth is interesting because I think Elizabeth, is, each of her episodes will be in a very distinct, different era. So, like, you're going to have a Clone Wars one, uh, which will allow us to bring Grievous in. Then you're, it looks like uh, the Thrawn one almost looks... There's the the middle one. I can't tell what it is. I know the, I know there's a Clone Wars one, and I can tell there's a... A Mando uh, era. Like a Mando era one, like probably like a few years before, like Mando. And that's a very good recreation of obviously that set and such. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and that's New More New Republic. So I imagine there's going to be an, a Smack Dad Empire one, probably where we saw Thrawn, because he's yeah. still like in. Because that's, that's obviously a. An he's working with Thrawn. Vader. He's got his black suit on at that point. Mm-hmm. So. My man. So yeah, uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, I'm trying Avatar. to think. Look out for the reactions for that. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, definitely be doing that. that. I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's move on. Still fun to watch. Outlaws. Outlaws looks great. It looks dope. 
I'm excited for that. They're, they're, I don't yeah, think I'm, it, I, I, I'm not. The trailer expecting does not it. sell me, but I'm like, but in really? terms of I'm no, sold. but the era, is, but 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 it being in between five and six, which isn't like there's only like a year, obviously. Um, uh, but like that's a period we haven't like got in Star Wars like a lot, so it could be interesting. I'm not sure like what. I don't because that's like really really height of like rebel like empire like uh, going at each other like war stuff mm-hmm. so I don't know may, if there's some periphery of that um, then that'd be cool there's some cool visuals like the commando droid bounty hunter looks pretty like cool awesome. I'm worried it's uh, I be like a that she game. has a, a dog I, don't think it will. I, I think like it's she... gonna be like an uncharted mixed with Red Dead Redemption. Where it's kind of like yeah, an open the, galaxy, but like there's also. I'm. I don't know how I feel about the like. They haven't given me anything about the protagonist besides like really like, yeah, on the you know, nose like better. adventurer dialogue. Like like that would right. like be from like 2005 like five Tomb Raider or something <laughs> like. Uh, but other than that, like I can't like it's a it's a Ubisoft game. We'll know when the game comes out. Like, I think that, <laughs> I think that we won't know by, by like thing watching about it this. Is, like Fallen Order and Survivor set such a high bar for Star Wars games for me now yeah. that it's like and I don't need to be everything to be the same because it's obviously not a Jedi or anything no so. I know but those games are so good like I you know I'm just hoping that this is like the Eclipse trailer is such a high bar <laughs> The <laughs> Eclipse trailer set a high bar and then just never <laughs> and they never again. It doesn't exist. The bar so. went so high it just evaporated. I love that they were like, let's just get a bunch of random Star Wars visuals that like don't actually mean anything and we'll we'll, we'll just drop that. I've been meaning like, we'll Survivor just... again. Survivor's um, so good. But yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be cool. I don't know much about the char- the main character other than like they gave us the exposition. They're like, oh, you're being hunted. She's She's very much a Nathan Drake character who literally is just like an adventurer who stumbles upon the most random stuff. Yeah, that's the, that's like all that's okay the only that. vibe yeah, you can too. really get across. It, it basically comes down to like what the environment is going to be like, combat system. Uh, I, there's supposed to be like I'm a. Sure the plot will be great. There's supposed to be like a morality system, which a lot yeah. of games I don't have. Like a Fallout kind of has that and stuff. So, like, we'll see how that. Basically, it's how much that will actually impact the story. Like, if you know what I mean, because yeah. like Hogwarts some games, really good morality some games give you like the illusion of that. You know what I mean? When then there's nothing really happens, or there's actually like not that many like branches to go down. Mm-hmm. Um, so if there actually is like a quite a bit of variety, that might be interesting. If you can play the game in a variety of different ways and get like different stories and results, then you can play it multiple times. Um, to give it replay value, but otherwise, again, we're not gonna know until that shit comes mm-hmm. out. It, it's it, I heard that it's an August release date. Okay, well. So it's soon-ish. Well, I'm just happy. I am happy that they are that other companies besides EA have it. So like, I, I guess I won't complain too much. Uh, All right, now, let's talk about right. the actual Avatar. Avatar. Before we get into the negatives, yeah. what was our favorite character from the show? Uh, no, let's uh, look. We go see our reactions if you want to see our like in the moment thoughts. Obviously, yeah. we've had a little bit more time to sit with them, <laughs> which we'll probably get across now. Uh, but yeah, Jackie, you, what, what was your question again? Uh, favorite, favorite character. character. No, no, you go first. I don't know off the top of my head. Either Sokka or Zuko. Why? Sokka was, I think, the closest to his animated counterpart. Mm. He was very witty. You know, he talked about his stomach all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, He was the one that said pips and paddle opsicopsicots. Or and like I, my our, my I, my brain does not work the same as you people at all. <laughs> he's like he's like like I, my brain does not even like comprehend like that being like a thing that I would like bring up. <laughs> it's like a positive like one of the funniest <laughs> like, moments from the show. It's like like, in it's season like one. he referenced something. It's <laughs> like no, I understand. And I like Zuko, like <laughs> I think Zuko, Zuko and Sokka were like opposite ends of the spectrum. Like uh, Sokka didn't have as much character development in the animated show. But, like, he was the funny, like, comedic relief, whereas Zuko is, like, every moment that he's on the screen, you're kind of like, I have to be quiet and, like, watch this because it's just so perfectly written and, like, emotionally uh, <clears throat> just perfect. I, I think, think Zuko is one of the most perfect people in that. I think, I think, I think for the live action show, I have to say Zuko's the best written of all of them. He's definitely my favorite. But I said this, the, like, any of the Fire Nation stuff is, like... Perfect. Yeah, I'll say this real quick. This is slightly... Well, I guess it, it's, it's positive and it's negative. Um, <clears throat> but the I Fire Nation, every part of the Fire... Actually, I'll say one thing I'll say because before I forget. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier, and I want to get this point across. I don't know if there's a single scene in the main trio part of the show, like, not the Fire Nation stuff that's mainly focused on Zuko, that is better than any scene that's Fire Nation. 
don't think there's a single scene that's directed better or has better dialogue that is like less put together well. I don't, I don't, I don't think like I I think every Fire Nation scene is better than every scene in the in the main three characters potentially. <laughs> like I, I think I it's like can agree it's, with it's, I think it's I think it, it, <laughs> it's like they're written by it's like like it's like they were in two separate places, two completely separate studios, and one team had a completely <laughs> different team of directors and writers and lighting people. And like <laughs> and like on set producers, it's like, like there it's were two there's like teams. literally like I have no it's idea like, what happened. It like felt at times there was teammates. Like I've never it. I've like shows have like even like Halo Jack. Like Halo dips in quality like <laughs> within a single episode like quite a bit, especially in like the earlier ep like the last season. Uh, we watched Halo as well, me and Jack. And yeah, we we'll watch it. that. Uh, uh, we in, in like the first half of the season, like there would be like such ups and downs like <laughs> within a single episode. But like I've never seen a show like with more like dramatic swings. In quality like in a, within like a, 10 minutes of each other than like this show like like it, the swings are, are insane at times like from like what the fire nation stuff could be to then like bouncing back which which is, makes it good and it's not and in the fire nation stuff is good it's not just because the other stuff's bad like the fire nation stuff is good and then like the slightly lackluster nature of the other stuff just makes the gap even like wider which I I don't know. I think most of the people of what I've seen though like that Fire Nation stuff quite a bit, and it's even like part. the yeah, and even like most of the the expansions they did on lore and like new things they introduced, mainly uh, the crew thing. Uh, that which was, was really good which is a really good decision that like he's leading the crew that he like saved or whatever or like spoke out for, um, and then him uh, going in, like giving him like a present or whatever like at a at Iroh's like a uh, son's like funeral mm-hmm. like those two things are like really 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 good additions to the to the to the story not in the the thing at all it's still within the spirit of the original, uh, and enhance kind of both those characters. Um, so Christian, yeah. after that spiel, what was your favorite character? Uh, Zuko is Zuko is the best written character. He's the best adapted by by far, at least of like the main characters. Um, otherwise, Iroh is very strong. The guy from Mandal, uh, what's his name? I think Iroh's name. Uh, Paul Sung Hughes. Yep, Paul Sung Hughes Lee's. Uh, Iroh is very good. Um, and I could even watching his Mandalorian performance. I think you can written, see why he was chosen for this. I think he's written really well. I don't believe he's the best actor they could have. No, no, no. He, for uh, him. he he's not. Doesn't his stuff doesn't always come across like the same like. No, he comes way. across as a little campy, like but in like the not good way. I think it was always going to come across. But as, that yeah. is completely. But it's so like. By, well, no, I'm not saying that he's not written. But well. in he's comparison to like, other characters in the show, like it's it's better. nothing. It's like and and his mm-hmm. and his relationship with Zuko is so good that it like in the their chemistry as care as actors is Dallas very Lou positive. Is the yeah, choice. yeah. Dallas Lou though I is think that yeah, Dallas Lou does Zuko very well. I just don't think he was old enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, like the how old do you think Iroh is? Zuko's well, the Zuko stuff is good because both the performance and the writing are both on par with each yeah. other, and, and so he's Dallas Lewis is able to just do his thing. He's able to get across the the main points of the character. The, there's only one I flaw. I am. Otherwise, uh, our boy Zhao. <laughs> oh, dude, he MB, was most like improved. Mo, one most, most improved, improved character, and yeah. up to the point that he's like one of the three best actors in the show. Like, I, I, he steals I scenes. would arguably say that he is the best actor in the show. Uh, probably, actually, I would say. He he steals scenes when he comes out. It, it's ridiculous. And he's, like, one of the weakest characters in the original series. I think the three best actors in the show are Zhao, Zuko, and Suki. Yeah, those three. Uh, Suki's... I have some uh, new thoughts on Suki, because um, I think they made some mistakes with like how they how they wrote it, but but Suki's actress is one of the best actresses in the show. Are you and she, joking? And she did um what she was supposed to do to the best possible way possible. But I have some thoughts now that I've like kind of Hold on my a opinions second. have evolved Wait, on that. What? Why? But yes, just to get my opinions clear, um, Zuko, uh, probably yeah, Zuko, um, Zhao and Iro my are my three. Uh, I Suki actually. Just, I remember liking the performance a lot. Okay, like why? Well. Why have you now changed your opinion on the character? Well, I can't. We're, we're jumping around. No, no. It's, <sighs> okay. Because before we move on, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I want to go more in like Paul Soon Hung Lee. Yeah. is fifty one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Uncle Iroh is fifty five yeah. to sixty. 
Yeah. Just didn't give me He's not life. that old. No, 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 no. It's fine. Okay, fine. Maybe take the age thing out of it. I just don't know if he was the best actor to I play I think the he fit the mold no, perfectly. I think he was great. Wait, now, wait a second. I think he grew into it every Hold episode. on a second now. You already hear first, Julian hates the show. No, <laughs> wait a second. He's, he's so negative. I he's so negative. I don't think he was the best. He doesn't like anything show. about it. Who would your fan cast be then? This is weird. You can't. How do you fan cast? Just off the top of your head. Doesn't make sense. Ken Jeong. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, no. I mean, he did a great. Uh, whatever. Never mind. I'm just gonna shut up. I even think like watching some of his Mando's. Like, for instance, actually, you question. know the one moment in Ahsoka where he's like, okay, like, like when he's like, when his father was a Jedi. He's like that. That moment was like, oh yeah, this guy can be Iroh. Like that moment actually kind of. Next like, question. Yeah, no, he's great. He's a good favorite. Actor. Like, his humor. Uh, favorite sorry. episode. Uh, six. Six. That's the best. Yeah, just because like Aang is finally able to get some good writing because the other that's the, exactly the, the, why the other team the came over for for an episode and it's like <laughs> and wrote and he got to because they combined for a they bit. were like they were like hey that episode's but, almost perfect there's literally like there's just there's just occasional d- Aang dialogue in that episode that sucks occasion like like for instance like he's like chained up and he's like let me out and instead of like let me out and I'll fight you he's like please you have to let me go it's like yeah that's that's what Aang would do anyway episode six. Is the anyway, best yeah. one. Yes. Yeah, episode six. I think we're all in agreement on that. I think uh, that the they just that's my only went. episode of that. I like that. Finally got Ang right for an episode. Yeah, uh, the only episode I would say. No, that is, I'd say he's pretty good in the last two as well. Eh. I think the last two episodes, it's not as bad, but the last three episodes are arguably the best. Yes. Well, no. Yes. I eight, think eight, so. eight, eight, eight's actually eight second best, but I still have some issues with eight. I don't know what I would call the third best episode. I really don't. I would say, you know what, I, I think the third best episode is, uh, what is it, four? Boomy? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. The one where fucking we get to see, like, Luten's funeral and all that sort of stuff. That's Which four, I think. That? I'm pretty like sure four. it was four. That's when, but after I, Iroh gets taken. I'll, t- I'll say half of four, then. <laughs> yeah. I'll say the Fire Nation half of four, I like. I like <laughs> Boomy stuff. The Boomy <laughs> stuff was fun. I, I, don't I, know. I, I, mean, I it, think the Boomy stuff is... is is probably the weakest arc in the entire no. show. No, like, I say by, the, by far. I'd say the first episode. No, is wha- the no, no, arc. no. The the boomy. Want to know why the boomy arc does not work? The boomy arc does not work because they already they already fundamentally changed the character of Ang going up into this to be a character that is not goofy, that is not distractible, that is not immature. And then they have an entire episode where Boomy's like, "You need to stop playing gangs games, Ang. You need to go out there and fight yeah, Ang." It's like, "I'm stuck here because of you. I'm playing games with you, Boomy." It's like, it's I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to leave. That's, that's, the, point. Like, that's the point, is. though. Like, no, least, no, it's not. It is. <laughs> My least favorite thing. He's horrible. It's, it's so show. bad. No, no, it's so My bad. Turn. My turn. Sorry. My least favorite thing on that it's... entire show. Is Thank you. Oh, I hate Thank you. Boomy was I hate great. So Thank God. Thank oh, God. No. I could have been fine if I just can't stand the campy act. <laughs> the performance. The whole so show crazy. is campy act. No, it's not. Bitch. No, no it's, it's, not. it's not. It's not. Well, two times it, it is, if, but if not the funny time. It, it's almost like he was like, "Oh, we hired you to do the voiceover for the work." And then he's like, oh, I'm going to show up and do it out. Hell no. That's like, what Boomy like, does. No, no, no. no but it's not, though, because you put... No, it's not. He's, that, that Boomy is it's, not the same Boomy as the, as the Boomy in the, as in the book. Yeah, I mean, Julian, you're going to go. You guys can talk about how you hate the show. Could have been a little bit less campy. Listen, Boomy's... Boomy's point. Boomy's understanding in, like... Uh. Boomy's, like, role actually fits in... In like the in the original, because like Ang's actually d- distractible in that version. He's actually not focused. But you took away that version of he Ang. You you did like if you kept if you kept that characterization, then you could have done this version. But you took away that characterization, which also made Ang wor- worse of a character off for the entire season. And then you kept the idea that he was still distractible. Like he, this version of Ang didn't even make Ang do a purposeful like this. This version of Ang doesn't even ha- have Ang make a choice to fl- to run away. Like, this version of Aang gets trapped in the ice because he decided to go for a ride during a thunderstorm. Like, it's an accident. Like, it's, like, instead of, like, a purposeful choice that it has a consequence. Like, in the, like, 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 like none I mean, of the char- characters the, are allowed to make the mistakes. Choice. He makes the no, choice to leave. He, he's, like, going, he's going back, though, like, in, in this version. Like, he's like, I'm just gonna go for a flight. Like, in that version, he's going to run away no, from his he was problems. No, run away in this. That no. was the whole point. He no. literally said, they're coming, you need to leave, and he leaves no, them. No, that's literally not. He's like, I need to go fly 
and think. That's basically what he would. He looks. He says, "I need show? to go up there where my air is, where the, my yeah. head is clearer." And he's like, "He's like gonna break into song and dance." You watched every episode once. Yes, I did. <laughs> you watched everything. I, one I watched time? every episode a single time. Okay, then get the then fuck out of here. You have no idea what you're talking about. No, literally they <laughs> change it. He he doesn't have like shit on his back. Like in the other one, he leaves like a note for Gyatso that he's gonna run away. Uh, that doesn't happen in this one. Yeah, well, you have yeah. to rewrite it because they don't have 25 fucking episodes to do it, so they have to make it. Well, that's like, another they have thing. I've thing. That's another. I have like much worse opinions on. Aspects of the pilot now, and I have worse opinions on. Well, not, I still like episode so two. So you have sat. So you're gonna tell yeah. me that you have sat here for the past three and a half weeks yeah. and mulled over and found ways to dislike it more. Yeah. Even though you How? only watched it once. You've only seen it once. And, that was, and that was I while we were watching it. Works. I was gone for three and a half weeks and have rewatched why it would I, twice. Why would I rewatch it? I didn't like it that much. Oh my I God. <laughs> I think my thing about it, though, is depending like, on what you adapt. I'm sorry. You just... I think it's like, oh God, I'm so I'm so fucking frustrated now because, like, I, I I get it. It's not exact. It's not. But I still like, and I I like certain changes. I said I just said like, I liked I like I roll like, and like, like I agree with Christian in the fact that like if you're gonna make changes, you have to make changes that enhance the story. I do agree with that. Because just making shit up that doesn't make any sense just to have it, I agree. And there are a lot of like, things that are re- like reworked example, that putting, don't enhance the story. Like for putting uh, uh, Wanshi Tong in the in the fucking yeah, doesn't the enhance the story. Spirit realm was like, why was he there? We're never gonna see, like that defeats yeah, the whole. Doesn't mystery. enhance We're the story. We're gonna see him again. Or, no, we or, won't. I guarantee you, we will not. We have I, to go to the library. Why would he, so he, he leaves every once in a while just to go? He goes on a walk in like the woods yeah. just to have fun. <clears> like, they, you the, can't have a season two if the library episode isn't in it. That's where you lose up. Like you, but they changed a bunch of shit in this episode. That like a bunch of shit. But that like it does still happen. followed the main story of season one. It, yeah, to, kind of. Yeah, I guess it yeah. did. Well, let, me, it, let, me, let me ask you a question. Uh, oh, let me tell you. Let me, let me, no, let no, me like because yeah, yeah, let me take this for a second. Yeah, we're stuck. So like, on a scale of one to ten, we have to pick up something. On the scale of one to ten, to an a- analyze let's specifically. Let's assume we all agree that the animated series is a nine. Okay, let's assume we agree that it's a, okay. nine, a nine and whatever. Where is, 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 I'm not asking for a number, but is the live action adaptation a nine? No. No. So no. a lot of what you guys are discussing is just the scale of how close to a nine this has been. And there are parts that are very close That's and what I was trying that enhance to say. it like... The Fire Nation expansion stuff yeah, it's good. is incredible, and it's almost as, if anything, some of the writing, and this is someone that has watched the animated series too, I enjoy everything about the Fire Nation so much more than I ever enjoyed it in the animation. Yeah. Because of the depth of the characters, and even Uncle, and seeing what he's lost, yeah. like, all those, it's like, I, I, like, feel for Fire Nation. Yeah. Now. It's incredibly frustrating because they fucked up, like, the, the part of the show that should have been, like, impossible to fuck up, which is the story, which, like, again, even, like, again, we've talked about it before. You can just go on, like, YouTube and you can find character analysis for fucking every single character in Avatar. And, like, it's, like, breakdown accurate, like, character depictions. Like, they exist. Like, they're really yeah, good but content. But, like, the but they didn't fuck up. The but, like, but the, but the thing they that everyone assumed they would fuck up would be, like, effects. And stuff like that. Like people would just assume they would fail because it's Netflix, and they didn't. They did. They somehow did the I thing that was think, like hard. I don't like, think and well at like, any point in the show was there a scene or a character or anybody that like disrespected the original. That's uh, I'm I agree. incorrect. See, I, no. I, 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 agree. I I I I, I disagree with you 100. Well, I don't See, know why. I, 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 hold, are you no, let, me let, let, let Julian talk because yeah, yeah, let me because I'll, I yeah. I agree with Jack. I like I don't sure. think there's a moment where I was like they. The biggest letdown was Aang. Other than that, I think Katara barely works as well. I lies. I don't think she barely works. I think they just like tried to make her more serious than she should be, and that just didn't land. But it was still there. Like I still believed that they were who they were. I still believed the plot. Like I, I understood. Like I still believed in the story. Yeah, to I me that's just like that, to me that's just like kind of building off of like bones that aren't yours. 
That's just because the story is so is works, like uh, fundamentally. But it's not your story; think, you're just adapting it. Right. That's but what I an still, adaptation. But is. Yeah, but exactly. that has nothing to do with like the quality of like what these people actually brought but to the I table. That's just think piggybacking. That the quality really isn't bad. No, like, it's, no it's not. Like I thought it'd be worse. Nail, I'll just give you because that. they didn't nail the, they didn't make an if exact you, copy yeah, of the you, cartoon. If you no, want, but I, if you want to show better than okay, the let cartoon, me, it's got to be one for this. Let me because this is consistent with my with what I just said about the adaptation. Julian Todd. No, no, I was saying two. No, not, no, I just want to because I think this is this is needs to be said for you to understand where I'm coming from. Ang to me, and from my understanding as a, as a fan of the originals, Ang and Katara are fundamentally not the same character that or, not, or that's being adapted. Like th- their characters have been fundamentally altered to the point that like you've changed fundamentals that are un- that are supposed Can to be unchangeable. Some fundamentals. Um, Ang uh, Ang is again nothing like the character. I agree. Which is fine. Aang is... I, I don't even think we need... I think we're mostly in agreement. I think we're Aang. all in agreement that uh, Aang, Aang is and, just and to, be, right. and I, to be fair, I feel horrible for Gordon Cormier because I think he's an actually talented actor. Um, he... I, I would say this. I, I was just watching some of like the lines that he said. I was literally just going through like the first episode. He has lines that are unperformable. Like, I'm not even... Like, he has lines that are so bad, nobody could deliver. Like, it, it, like, nothing he could have done. Like, yeah, in, cer- think, in certain I capacity. I said this, I made a Facebook post about this, and I said this in my Facebook post, which was for the non-film people out there, the people who don't watch shows on a regular mm-hmm. basis, bad writing does not equal bad acting. Yes, yeah, so 100%. Like, like uh, fucking Kelly Marie Tran suffers from this in fucking Last Jedi, that, like... Just the fact that her character makes no goddamn sense doesn't yeah. mean that she is yeah, a bad nothing actor. Yeah, nothing to She just got stuck... In a bad yeah. role, and I love the ca- one of my positives I have listed here is the casting because I think the cast is good. I actually enjoyed I when the, the actors when, the, cast really when well. it was renewed. I like like and even like seeing interviews with a lot of the cast. I like the cast personalities. I don't wish any ill will upon these people. No, I think they, the actors are really good. I think that I think that the reality like, of it was was that they tried to. Because when you're doing a cartoon and it's like episodic and they do something different in every episode and then then there's like an underlying storyline that you have to follow and you have 25 or 23 or however many fucking episodes to do in a season, it's like it's okay if you make mistakes, you know what I mean? Because you'll bring it back in the next 20 minutes or we'll bring it back in the 20 minutes after that or whatever. But when you're doing something like this where it's like you have eight episodes to adapt 22 20-minute episodes is like, okay... We now have to take all of this development and cram it into eight episodes. And it's it's hard as a writer to do that. But there is also like they also shot this over the There's also repeatedly. an understand that's what I was about to say. Is there's an understanding that like you can't you sh- can't and shouldn't change the fundamentals of characters because you're trying to make it more serious. Like they took Aang and like took the excitement and the joy out of his character. Like the most my personal opinion, the most he was actually like himself in the show was when they were on Kyoshi Island and he was riding around on the little ball thing. I think that and him and Boomy on the slides was very And much yeah, fun. other than that... And even like, then those are like really, second long sequences that are... Like, but like, right, you can't just they, be like, oh, like, it was they, too short. Like, but you they, have to enjoy what I it did is. enjoy that and I think that those were the moments where he was most like himself, but they shied too far away from that like for the rest of the show. And that really is a letdown because Aang is obviously like. What I didn't understand was. was I don't know. I just think they. He's, they, a, he's what twelve. I didn't he's supposed was, to be. Yeah. Was there are some things that they went really like? I'm going to compare it really quick to Last of Us. So Last of Us <laughs> took a video game and made it more complex. I and love tried the Last to of improve us. the lore by taking characters and they didn't dumb down some of the things. And I know it's a video game. Blah blah blah. But then I do feel like there are some things on the show Avatar that they simplified. Like, they took an incredibly complex story, and I know it's 25 episodes and all that stuff and multiple seasons, but, like, they took some things and they simplified the motivations of some of the characters in the trio. Yeah, but and then that they said they bothered were... me because I think, if anything, exactly. they, they clearly uh. on the other side, on Fire Nation stuff, made the stories more complex. So why wouldn't you take the opportunity to make it more complex instead of like dumbing down some of the dialogue? Yeah, they made so like. I, yeah, I think that I think that like I, I I agree and disagree with you, and I and and the reason I say that is I I, I agree with they they simplified the characters' motivations by trying to give them a 
more complex motivation than they had in the show. I don't agree with that at all. They did. The whole... And the reason I say this is, like, if you go... If you watch the original show, Aang's motivation is clearly, I have to beat the Fire Nation. It's plain. It's simple. I'm going to learn the four elements. i got to beat the Fire Nation. But they add all of those little character developments in there and 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 he has moments and he has a moments of sadness a moments of happiness a moments of joy and fear. Any but in this in the cartoon no in this show well, that's what no, i'm he, saying he's talking about the show oh, okay. i'm saying the that in the that was in the original yes in this one they tried to streamline the character by giving him a simpler motivation which is that i feel bad that i've been gone yeah but Which is dumb. But in a character's like mindset, that I feel bad that I've been gone is like deeper than him just being is a twelve year old. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. Because you you're trying to tell me that twelve year old kid who's been gone for a hundred years, his entire motivation for doing anything he does ever is because he's so self, he's so consciously aware of all the things that have happened. Since he's been gone, like no, the cartoon I, yeah, is I like he think... learns about it as he goes. No, yeah, like, I, I'm, I not, I'm not like... saying it's a good thing. Yeah. I'm saying that they. No, I understand what you're saying, but I don't even. Th- I don't even know if that's more him... complex. I think it is more complex. I think. I think it's. Inter- I think it's significantly less realistic, though. No. I think it's. I think no. I think it's. I think it's uh, significantly more uh, realistic that the twelve year old. Well, one, they. It's. It's difficult because they do dumb things in this show, like. Like, 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 they have Gran, like, tell him everything. Which, like, takes away, like, like, from... Like, for instance, like, in this show, like, as much as the moment of, like, him going into the Avatar state, like, in... Actually, I think this is a good point to, to pivot to, to talk about the pilot. Because I think the pilot is a good place that, like, to break down, like, what this show is kind of about. Like, the pilot, for instance, like, go in terms of, like, the, the time thing and trying to adapt something with, like, less time or whatever, like you were saying. The pilot is the first three episodes of the show. Of the original. Uh, it is 58 minutes. The original three episodes are 63. And it feels rushed. I, like, and, and, I don't yeah, think the pilot was rushed at all. And it feels rushed because you had 10 minutes of the airbender genocide that was not needed. Um, I agree. I agree. And, I've said so this you wasted the beginning. Time. So, you wasted, the so you wasted writing there. So you had 10 minutes of that. And again, even the, the fight scene in the beginning is like right away in the fire. The weird place to start the show at. But even then, you could have kept that. You could have kept up until the Fire Nation Emperor, or whatever they're called, at the time, saying, "We so we need to kill them all. And then you cut. And then you go to Sokka and I Aang. agree. Like, I don't think, like, little things like that bother me. me I think that the biggest... But, sure. I agree. The, I, like, I, sure, I agree. I see what you're saying, the, though. Like, to me, the thing that would bother me the most is, like, changing... Like, again, like, rewriting a character in, a, in like, the wrong way. My, like, my big problem is when they've completely rewritten Aang to have a motivation that was not nearly as deep in the cartoon, but they do that on purpose because it's a live action and so they're trying to make it more relatable but it's not because the reason he's relatable is because he's 12. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? So that it's like that bothers me, but like also, I, I also can't deny it, say that like I still fucking loved it. You know what yeah. I mean? Throughout the whole show, there wasn't a point where I was like, "Oh, I can't." I, I don't, don't want to watch was, this anymore. I think the only thing, like you said earlier, there wasn't a moment where I was like, "Oh my god, this is awful." I think there was like the only thing where I thought to myself was like, "This is rough." It was the dialogue. I think that, and I think that the dialogue hinders the acting, and I think that the dialogue hinders the plot um, because you're you're again you're rewriting the most important character of the show. It's like be. rough. It's like rough draft stuff at times. I agree with that. Like, I can get behind that. I think like it's like, like barely tried at times. It seems I feel like. like they didn't have like they didn't have that person that should have sat there and said, "Hey, let's like let's look this over." Even like something like you know? during like the Agni Kai, like like uh, what's his name? He says something to Zuko like Ozai says something to Zuko like compassion is weakness, which is like a yeah, really on the nose line. And the line he says to Zuko in the cartoon is not that simple. It is much. It is a better written line. Like right. But like I so, still it's, it's like very... that scene. No, yeah, it seems like... fine. Like yes, it's fine. I, I can just point at little things and then still see like why like, like they're not. I like, feel like this or this. I feel Again, like I'm just making an example. No, it wasn't I, just I, like I, one. I understand. Like, yeah. But I I just feel like if you you know like take oh that line wasn't as sentimental or like heartfelt as the one in the cartoon. Yeah. Like 
if you go back and watch the reactions, like, me and Julian had smiles on our faces the entire time. Because, like, even though it wasn't a one-for-one one or because, like, things were changed, like, I still enjoyed the show. So, so my, my question, all right, I'm going to pose a question which we did not write down, but I want to know. Because this totally is, like, not stuff that we've ever seen before, is Azula in season one. That Whoa. was great. I love Totally all not expected. Stuff. Not part of the plan. Why was she there? Oh, you know, what is your thoughts on that? I think that all of her stuff was great, too. I loved the fact that Ozai, he definitely would have done this if she was in season one, played her, like, saying, like, oh, maybe Zuko could do it. And, like, that was her drive to, like, He, like, be... pulls strings. Yeah. I kind of like that. That he, I like, loved... adds that. Now, that's, like, a good character development moment that they've added yeah. that I like. Like giving him a little bit more manipulative characteristics versus he's just fucking evil. Yeah. I like, like the, I again I have very I have a very 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 specific quirk with like the type of manipulation he did, but like it's not like again I don't really I'm not going to get that that's one of those things where I actually don't think is a Unlike the the other thing we were just arguing about, I, that's an issue that I actually think doesn't matter. Um like that they he, that I think they was slightly off. Uh Azula stuff though fine. Like I don't like it didn't do anything to weaken like any of the story, yeah. uh, and it like like there like it very could easily just been like filler, and it like I, yeah I can't agree with that. Uh, like I don't think fucking like I don't know why they even had Ty Lee and what's her name at all. That was useless. It's just to get rid of the was just to get rid of the the weird arc in the second season where she like goes where off she has and, to go get him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I her getting Omashu not bad. Uh, that yeah that made sense even though like the the the. the uh, they treated it like it was like a surprise. I, <laughs> like, I, there was one thing that happened. Was like, didn't like um, in episode four or whatever, Boomy was like, the Fire Nation are coming. And then in like the finale, they're like, well, we 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 did a sneak attack on Amashu. <laughs> it's like, did you forget what you wrote like four think, episodes I ago? That, I, think, like, I think that was on purpose. I think that was the joke. Was like he knew they were coming and they thought that they outsmarted them, but they didn't. <laughs> Fair. Sure, like, they thought that was sure. the point. Sure, whatever. Uh, I, don't, I didn't think it was a sneak attack. Like I think it was just a full frontal. Assault well, that's what they that said. They're like, well, they didn't. Well, the real target was was Sumashu, not the Northern Watch, which they did well, like and I also three think times. That, I also show. think that maybe he was referencing like the Fire Nation is coming for everybody, not just yeah, us. Maybe. Could be. But I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It still worked. Yeah, it's still a uh, great okay, secret. Right, yeah. so let's just talk about a, this finale. Let's talk about the, oh, Water Godzilla was great. Water Godzilla, yeah, I think was that that was adapted well. I think the, again, actually, uh, weirdly Last enough, I think was eight was really well. was rather well adapted for the most part. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything I didn't. I, I'm sure there's stuff I didn't quite like. Oh, uh, like UA. but uh, that was great. It was so yeah, UA sad. was UA wasn't bad. The um, death was so good, and they did the black and white, which was so. I good. actually, they honestly like got getting rid of her, like making her. Fucking a patrol, to not an asshole. Was yeah, actually Han was, was a good. good change. Yeah, Han, that was a was that was a good cool. change. I I didn't mind that because uh, that was just a that was, that's just like a side cartoon character like joke thing that they actually made into like a a more personable like character. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah, the Godzilla thing I think was adapted just about as good as you could have adapted yeah. something like that. Um, the Iro line, perfect. The Iro line's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read to you. I made a Facebook post about this. And I'm going to read my thoughts, and I want you guys to elaborate on my thoughts here. So I wrote, conclusion after finishing Netflix's Avatar Season 1. Um, overall, out of 10, I'd say it's an 8.5. Yeah, I'd agree. I, I think so. Absolutely not. And here's why. My pros, Fire Nation, obviously best part. Depth they added to Zuko, Iro, Ozai, Azula. Extremely well done. Casting Dallas Liu was great. Uh, adding Luten's funeral. Father-son relationship with Zuko when he literally is like, I have all I need on this ship. I loved it. I cried. So good. Yeah, very good. Uh, leaves from the Vine and Secret Tunnel. Freaked out. Awesome. Um, I think I fundamentally know why we think differently. Because I think you two are just able to focus on, like, just high points. And I then, think and I'm then able just to make that represent, also, like, your entire also, opinion of, like, I'm the material. To, Whereas, like, I, I need, I balance things a oh, bit I, I'm more, also trying to balance. Well, no, wait, because I have so I have my list of cons is is just as long. Um but how could it be? How could you have a list of cons just as long as a list of goods, and, and it's an eight point five? I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm actually just curious on a rating system so, in, in that sense. Hold on, uh, visual effects, production design saved. Yeah, that was a good. lot of this they show. Had, the delay was worth it. Um, I think that you know it. The VFX literally just were like nostalgic. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I guess from fall to it the, felt to the so good. Was a good choice. Um, the costumes were amazing. Somebody was giving them shit for looking like cosplay. I don't understand. I don't, yeah, they literally weird, look like the cartoon even, characters. I, I'm, I'm, costumes, I'm, fucking, those I'm cynical as hell. There may be a little bit too of the crisp um, at times, but otherwise fine. Casting choices were amazing. Um, yep, I, for, I think, and again, I'll say this again. Bad writing does yep. not equal bad acting. Thank you. Um, Ian Owsley especially is suffering from this the most. I don't understand why people are hating on him. He is arguably one of the better actors in the show who has some of the better writing, so I don't understand why Yeah, I don't why know, understand why he, that character is, is tanked so much. As a person who is more they're, negative they're, on the show, right. um, I don't understand why Sokka has, or the character, uh, what's his name? I forget. Um, Ian, Ian Owsley. He's an Owsley. I don't understand why that character has tanked so much aggro for the, like, I guess I don't know if it's portrayal or the depiction or adaptation um, because like the other two are significantly more off like, I in terms of and like that, where they are from their actual so, original character so and then I wrote uh, this is a pro and a con is combining episodes from season one and two yeah it was very hit like, or miss it was very hit or miss like very. again I agree that combining the spirit will the spirit world and the swamp from season one and season two, like I think that's great because again they got Sokka and Katara away. From the episode two Aang. combination stuff was good but, as well. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, interesting. Uh, but um, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's Zhao. It? Zhao in that Zhao, episode was great. Yeah. That was, I was great. Definitely choice. really into all of that. But I also was like, why was Wan Shi Tong there? Like I don't get it. <laughs> just like, um, however, uh, just, he who knows my, ten thousand things. He's, he's my largest, to library, my largest, <laughs> my largest complaints. A, they started in the wrong spot. Yeah, I will say that forever. Got rid of the mystery bang. The dialogue. Suffers from Stranger Things syndrome. If you want to know what what I mean by Stranger Things syndrome, yes. go watch the show. Tell that show. Uh, go watch the reactions. Uh, I talk about this all the time. Ang repeats the same three lines through the whole show. They repeat um, the opening monologue like eighteen times through. Like they break down like the opening, like the opening sequence of like the sh- of like the show. Like like in the first episode, that like multiple things that are in like the. The, the monologue like at the beginning mm-hmm. are literally repeated by like in character yeah I like, know it's like like multiple times and like, then and then uh, and then also um, a- Aang doesn't waterbend at all he doesn't that even one, try I don't even that one I don't even know like why that was a, a choice like I, I literally I don't have a thought in me that like understands try. it's that. just because he doesn't do it that much in the first season well, yeah but, but, but he does he though doesn't he How, like he does they practice a lot like because by the end of the, of the third because it all builds up and then he's doing it like very well like at the water te- like at the northern water tribe it's like we see a he lot of the things that he does learned water to use. Bend during the northern water tribe attack in the cartoon uh, I, I, I just rewatched it he when when he fights the boats in the first part doesn't water bend. No, he air bends. I, I get that. I just saying like he doesn't even attempt. Like the show. No, is I, about I understand him. what you were saying. The show is about. That's one of the main goals of the of the, the original. Avatar, and in this, he doesn't do any like Avatar stuff. Like I know they didn't really Aside set up the from summer. He hangs out with fucking Roku, who was really well done. Because they haven't Roku. set up the for, for some reason they haven't set up the the meteor yet. So because we don't know the date. Like they, like for, like for instance, well, for some reason, the end. Uh, yeah, but Aang doesn't know. No. Yeah, I mean, like our main trio doesn't know. We're obvi- and that's why I think a lot of this season, like, like the way it flows, doesn't work nearly as well because, like, the way the original is written, it just flows better. Where we get that kind of like where he's off focus for like those first like eight episodes, and then we get the Roku thing where it's like, hey, bitch, you don't have time to go do this, and you have you have like till the end of summer, boss. Like, <laughs> to learn how to do this. Like, that, and so, like, so then, like, the, the timer starts, and then he has to learn, and, like, so, so and it's weird, because, like, we're very behind, like, well, on, like, he's what not his like, goals he's are. he's not, like, a great waterbender at the end of season one. Uh, like, he's still goofing off. Well, he still learns, yeah, he still trains a guitar into season two. Yeah. Yeah, I right. understand that. But it was just very interesting yeah, decision not to. All, so that yeah, me. it was just very strange. That's, like it's not even that's again that's the thing that isn't, probably doesn't even affect the story in any way at all. It's just a weird decision. Like, all right. So now that the writers have said publicly, "Hey, we made some mistakes. We're gonna do better for seasons two and three. Are you hopeful? Yeah. I mean, I like the show to begin with. I like the show to uh, okay. begin with. I think one, that the again, show, they messed up some of the characters. One, the showrunner is if gone. They're admitting this. One showrunner is gone. The yes. main showrunner is gone. Um, from what I've under, understood, he was on for a while. He was even like worked with the the original creators before they left. Once they realized that the the creative team was not going to play ball with them, uh, so like I think he might have just got burned out. He moved over to Percy Jackson, which I've not thrilled about um because that show because weirdly enough percy jackson and this show suffer from very similar issues whereas like they can't build chemistry with their main three yeah i, have, I like, thought, I I thought to watch that, percy jackson i thought that annabeth uh glover and percy had pretty good interactions i think with per- each other. percy yes it i think a lot of the issues with percy and ang are actually very similar according to each show i think they're both ahead of where their character are 
supposed to be at this point in like each of their respective stories. Like Aang is already at this weird seriousness, like season three type version of himself that like uh, we haven't, where he didn't like actually develop into, which is like why you kind of like the series Aang by the end of season three. Uh, and then Percy is kind of like almost like knows too much in the show. If that makes sense, I, have no again, you have, yet, I won't spoil I anything for you. So it, I actually, I, I don't mind the Percy Jackson. Again, I think the Percy Jackson though, I have a very similar reaction to to this, like in, into Avatar in a lot of ways. Like it's like it's way, so it's way better than the movie. And almost <laughs> through things. Way better than the movie. Uh, I probably there, actually, there's probably not there's not as many low 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 points in in Percy Jackson as the adaptation. There's some very low points in the show to me. All uh, right, which means that Percy Jackson was exceptional by Christians. Standards. I thought it was, it was like a, <laughs> Percy Jackson's like hey, Percy he's Jackson's laughing at him. Percy he's Jackson's la- a, I like Percy Jackson close up on Rich while he's laughing at this if you want to understand my thoughts Percy Jackson's like a 7 in my mind this is like a 6.5 so okay so Rich out of 10 not including the not thinking about the cartoon just as the show itself out of 10 what would you give it and also we haven't asked you your favorite character your favorite episode your favorite part um I'm bad at remembering which episode happened with which. Um, I think it's four because I really liked... I guess this is, will make sense because obviously being older, I identify with Uncle. Because mm-hmm. he's the that, father That episode figure. was heartbreaking. Yeah. So is that four? Yeah, that's yeah. four. So my favorite character is his uncle. And I always liked Uncle. Uncle's my favorite uncle character from the, ca- from the cartoon. Yeah. And then obviously because of my... Because of my feelings for the actor and the portrayal and the writing of Uncle, I like episode four so much. And then, so that's my favorite. I don't know, what was the other one? Favorite, uh, um, favorite character, favorite episode, um, uh, and favorite part. Favorite part? Um, I like a lot. Of, episode seven, I'm really fond of just about everything in seven um my overall ranking of the whole thing is there's again it's like at times i feel like i watch two shows because i feel there's times like i get so excited and and then i for stuff going on the fire nation and some of the stuff that's going on over there and then i get into this weird like kiddie-ish dialogue with the trio at times so like yeah, I'd I give, can I let yeah, me finish? Yeah. So like if I'm giving it and I my and we're all gonna have different scales. So like I said, if I gave the original animation a nine, I would probably put this a little less than eight, only because there are times that I just can't. I I just get frustrated watching stuff where the dialogue drives me crazy. And that's what why my and it just takes I agree me with you. it just takes me out of the zone. That's exactly what and, I'm and saying. I'm like watching it and I'm enjoying it, mm-hmm. and then they and then Aang will say something like. Um, you know, I don't know, like some of the, like, it's just like, I feel so bad for my friends. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, like, you know, like the just, same oh, thing, like every episode. Why did like, you say, cause I feel like all of a sudden I'm watching Disney channel again. You know? <laughs> well, and that, that was the note that I, so that's why, that's like, why again, I I'll give it, Stranger I'll finish up. Um, I feel like it's like a seven, eight if, and, but I think the cartoons are nine. Yeah. The only reason in my mind that it's, but like, I'll watch season two and I enjoyed it, but well, I just wanted to be a little, 100%. I just want it to be better. I do better. Do better. I actually no. Here's the. I'm very. I, I. I. This show. Like again, the cast is good. The effects are somehow not bad, which was one of the really big worries that were you gonna be able to like achieve this, uh, world, like just in like live action. They did that, and they did it about the best possible. I think it's about as good as possible they could have done it, uh, literally. Um, season two though, it's it's weird because like I'm I'm happy that the showrunner's gone. Uh, the two people that got promoted to showrunner wrote episode three and four of those, which is like, eh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, but the point is like, so did they, I'm glad they've acknowledged that like there is actually like that they fucked up a lot of shit, which, in, uh, and that they've made mistakes and that there's certain things that they need to be more true to. Um, and I would certainly hope because we're getting into the really, really good stuff. Season one's cool and all, but like season two but and three I think, I think are okay are with, the meat of the show. I think that's where so, I'm like that's where I'm kind of saying like I'm okay that they didn't do perfect on season one. No, I'm yeah, that's what I'm cool with too. Gonna, but if season two is similar to this, it will there'll be more issues. They need It'll a, be I less wonder, defendable. I wonder who they're gonna cast as Toph. I've seen a lot of uh, that needs to be perfect. I've seen a lot, a lot of, of fan casting. Yeah, we need that, that's another thing as well. We need somebody to balance you know out who this, would be the three. Good? She's older now because 
she's around. She's getting to be around that age. But the girl who played uh, Tony Stark's daughter in Endgame. No, but so yeah, Toph's got to be like she's, Aang's age. She's much older now. Though. Toph's got to be like Aang's age, I think. So well, yeah. Then they have to go with someone who's like fourteen. Be like, yeah, fourteen now. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to add. Um, and then Twinkle Toes. <laughs> I'm I'm excited for that. I, I think I'd she's... I'd agree with Julian. I think that it was an eight out of five out of uh, eight of eight point five out of ten. Um, Listen, I only give it a six point five because again, I love the Fire Nation stuff. Fire Nation stuff, I would literally Fire Na- I, I said six point five. Uh, yeah, that's a, your dad said like a seven point eight. Uh, really? And you again? He's again. He's nicer than me. Uh, <laughs> fucking, he's, 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 uh, but whatever. Um, but again, I really because again, I would happily give Fire Na- most of the Fire Nation stuff on this show eight, eight and a half. They have the quality in them. There are times where that show gets that good. I would give the Ang stuff in terms of both adaptation, just dialogue, just the way it's done, about a six. About a, it's not great. Like I, I think the the main plot of the main three. Um, I don't know. I think I think most of the stuff that is adapted doesn't end up reaching the level of what it's adapting. Some stuff makes fundamental decisions that make it wonkier, that like make the motivations less clear or different. But again, but again, but again the thing I would I could I'm very excited for season two because I just want to keep watching Zuko. I like <laughs> I want to keep watching Zuko. That actor go like that actor like makes me want to watch every episode. Like even when I was like complaining and shit, I would want to watch the next episode because I want to see what Iroh is doing. I want right. to see what Zuko is doing. So like they still have me like they like, to a degree. Mm-hmm. Like they there are still like aspects of the show that I am rooting for and like um I just need like. Kind of the the like the main like uh, it's it's bad because like I so much of like the stuff that revolves around like the story is good and even as the casting is good like behind the scenes stuff is good it's just that like it's hard to like say that you're achieving like you're succeeding when like I think there's so many issues with like the characterizations of your like three characters that are like kind of your your mains especially like the lead. Again, I know I have, but I I don't I think you guys are much more okay with like this depiction of Katara than I am. Uh, well, I didn't think like, we talked about that very much, but like I just don't. I just think like this guitar is like so indistinct. There's like I don't, I don't, I don't think I can give her a trait. I don't like, like you know what I mean. Like I don't. She's like, fine there's by the no end. Characterization. She's, she's, she's fine by, by the, the end by of the, the season. Episode, I think she's she gets hopeful. better as the show she's, gets on. She's good by the last two episodes. I think. I think. But and I to be think... fair, it's because they take things away from her. Like they don't even let her be the one that calms Aang down. Like at the end of season of like of like the third episode in the show and like obviously the end of the first episode in this mm-hmm. instead which this show also has like a really weird like fixation of like Aang's relationship with like Gyatso who is an important character to Aang but like 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 Aang like it's much more important to me that like that Katara calms Aang down like in three because that because right, that because think... that gives him a connection to these new people that he's just met I like think... this really deep connection that he's been calmed down from like this really crazy thing like by these people so he's like his new family his new people to cling to and he moves on where in this version like visions of Gyatso like get him out of the Avatar right, state but I think... like that's a weird change to me I think that they. See, I, I think it's a different change, but I don't necessarily say it's bad. Because I don't, again, I'm not saying bad; it's weird. I think it's. I think they're going to improve upon that in season two because, again, like I said this during the reacts, which is that the actors are young. Yeah. So they're not going to because the actors are so young. Like, it, like I but said, like Stranger this Things didn't like shy away from that, and that's like the same company. But like, so Mike that's and, my only confusion. Mike I and guess. L weren't like in love. They, in, in like don't they like one literally? Is, they like kiss in the second season of the show, where they're both like the actors are both like fourteen. They okay, do. so now it's four. Like, but but they then were, you could just then they just, were they, twelve and like is that what, like seventeen? They're actors. I think they're also. I think they're. Katara's also not seventeen, is she? The actress. Then don't Katara's. then don't cast this. Like, that's a their Katara and Aang's relationship is a, is a big part of the, like bo- well one. It's actually a big part of both Aang there. and Kara, Katara's like character. Are they gonna get there if the actress is twelve? If 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 the actress is at seventeen and Aang is is twelve? Are not we not anymore because he's fourteen and she's. 17 now. Okay, so like when he's 15 and she's 19, I assume they're not going to be sucking face. I think so. it might be a little different. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's weird. So, um, But overall, those are our thoughts on Avatar The Last Airbender. Thanks well. for watching. And uh, hope you enjoy this podcast. Uh, let us know what you thought of Avatar The Last Airbender. And let us know if you're excited for season two. Question of the day oh. is... Uh, 
who was your favorite character and why? And also, what was your favorite part of the live action show? Um, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see all you guys in the next video. May the force be with you. Goodbye. Bye. Take care.